Your waifu is trash. This is our waifu husbando defending game show. This panel is only awesome if you're awesome. So I hope you're here to help and you're excited. Uh, who was here last year when we had this uh, had this panel? Hands? Oh, we got a lot of new people. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. All right, this is the waifu battle game show. Now, waifu and husbando, we'll have two separate rounds. I'm gonna keep saying waifu because that is a lot easier to say than husbando as I'm speaking. So just assume both when I say the one. Uh, there will be eight contestants from you chosen to come up and defend your waifu or husbando of choice. Uh, each of you will have, like, you just, just pick who your favorite is that you can actually communicate why they're a good person that you think would be good to be with, not just, oh, they're blue and it's like my favorite color. You're not gonna win. <laughs> Unless the audience is like, you know what? My favorite color is blue too. And, like, that's, the, that's the only way you're getting through this because you're gonna have two of you arguing in the microphone, one full minute each, full minute. For some of you, we're gonna force you to keep talking and you'll just have to go. For others, we will all cut you off together. Um, once you've both argued, then we'll go to an audience vote. We'll do a show of hands, because I, I, I don't know, I don't want everybody shouting. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. So we'll show of hands, see who wins. They move up the bracket. We're all familiar with March Madness or some sort of bracketed tournament. It's going to work like that. Uh, in case you're not aware, this is the diagram of how brackets work. So we'll start with eight. We'll go to one waifu and one husbando. And the waifu and the husbando will then have to argue for one minute each, because I like things consistent, for our bronze prize at the little prize uh, thing. I wouldn't pick this up. There is actually cool stuff. People always say like, oh, there's cool stuff with the prize counter. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many Gundams back here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> There's good stuff in the prize counter. I wasn't expecting it. So who are we? Why are we here? I'm Blaine. I do a, a nightly podcast called Blaine's Escape Corner. Uh, I'm on YouTube, 7 o'clock, uh, Monday through Friday, unless I got con or something else going on. Next to me here is Jang. Uh, he's been going to SakuraCon forever. About 20 years. 20 years. Okay. You can follow him on Reddit if you think he's funny. You can follow his comments <laughs> and everything. And then uh, Fred Serrano's over here who will be uh, helping us. He sometimes puts out YouTube videos. It was probably about eight months this last time I did it. But, you know, there might be one coming this year sometime. <laughs> All right, you want to say? So we're just going to have some rules we want to respect here. So pretty much Sakura Khan's rules are our rules. We just want to make sure that we limit things like swearing, keep things Pretty PG as much as you can. There about. are children in the room, so there, there are children. I saw a child. Ra like you can raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> if you so, wouldn't say it to a child, don't say it. Yeah. So keep things nice and clean. Moderate language. Like I said, PG is great. Um, we're here to have a good time too. So just respect all of your other contestants and everyone in the room. Um, Obviously, we're not all going to share the same wife or husbando, and that's just fine. Just make sure to be respectful and have some fun with it, and everything will go great. Um, some things that we might talk about, so things you should say. Uh, when did you first fall for your wife or your husbando? So, was it right away, or did it take a little bit? Uh, what characteristics make your wife be the best? How much can they bench? Probably the best, the most important question you can answer. So just things like that, just do your best. And like I said, if you need a little There's help in getting through here. that one minute, we're more than happy to ask some example questions. And like I said, it's going to be a good time. We thank you for being here. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, hold on. Yes. Stick to the plan. <laughs> we're here to have fun, but also this is useful because arguing and deciding and identifying characteristics that are good in a waifu and being able to do that little mental challenge it's fun and we'll laugh about it but it's a good thing to practice in your normal life some of you are going to get over stage fright you again win prizes and then some of us may learn about a new waifu or husband that we've never never heard about before so there's still seats on this side still please seats. come in and sit down we don't want to violate fire code thank you <laughs> So, quick test run here. We're gonna, we're just gonna go one, two, and three uh, with our three chosen waifus. 
Now here is the uh, here's where everyone gets to participate. So we have our contestants that'll participate, but we're also going to have big old timer on the uh, on the screen. So once this timer hits zero, I need everybody to go. Bah! <laughs> Don't count it down though, because we want to hear the full minute. But once that goes down to zero, we need to we need to buzz them because we can't keep talking. <laughs> All right. Jay, would you like to defend Aqua for one full minute? Oh, no. What's there to defend? She's perfect. She's got blue hair, which is funny. I remember the very first time that I set my eyes on Aqua. It was on Reddit, a very informative community. Uh, and someone said she's useless, and I can't disagree with that. Is that a good thing? Oh, it's the best thing. Makes a very good time. So. I would say a few things. Blue hair, drunk all the time. Oh. You said. Uh, useless. Annoying. <laughs> You've got 30 so, seconds. It's half the time. Keep going. Surprisingly helpful. She hates frogs. And I hate it is frogs. surprising when she's helpful. Uh, and she's very good at doing cool water tricks. When was the last time you saw someone shoot water out of a fan? No. Not. Well, not. Aqua can do that. <laughs> Is that useful in other parts of life? Probably not, but who's keeping score? Gotcha. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, my turn. You going, Matt? For Misato. <laughs> She's the original mommy waifu. She opens up her house, her home, to take care of those in need. Not just with Shinji to be there for him, with him and his father, of course, having this terrible life, but she's there also to open her home to Asuka later on in the series. Uh, she knows how to have fun. She knows how to party. She also has, you know, she'll plenty of beer. She'll drink, but she's also responsible. You don't see the kids in that show drinking, just her. She's the only one. And she has a penguin. It's true. Penguins are great. Pets, she can take care of a pet. She's also the one who goes and actually like takes care of and like picks up Shinji, right? Like you want someone who's got the responsibility, the ability to like go out and take care of other people. And her bench game isn't great, but she squats the feelings and hopes of everyone in that show. I think she could bench a lot. Uh, so it's all in the back. It's all in the back. And uh, her father sacrificed everything for her and she uses that to try to talk to everybody. Ah! Much better that time. Thank you guys. All right. Uh, Marcel, the newest of the waifu on the panel. All right, go. It's a Marcel, actually, I'm gonna correct you there. She has an excellent fashion sense. She has an excellent fashion sense. She is good in anything. See the frog suit. She's a loyal friend. She is willing to forego payment and overcome any trials required to save her friend from high school or something. Something, <laughs> something. She is an adult, which is older than 90% of anime characters and younger than 95% of owls. <laughs> she, knows, she knows a wide variety of useful spells. She can use her intelligence to apply them in creative ways, as we see in many of the battles she's overcome thus far. Do you have a creative example? Yeah, they were fighting a Kelpie, or I believe that was a, I forget pretty easily. But... <laughs> <laughs> she used water walking on the monster to prevent it from going underneath the water, and it drowned. Okay. <laughs> what else? Eat the dirt. She doesn't let our red I had like seven more. No, he's got a list. So we will cut you off if you're partway through a sentence. Uh, so now we go to audience. Uh, who in the audience thinks Aqua is the best waifu of our three? That's, that's what I thought. We have three people. We have three people Four or five. Okay, all right. Uh, Misato, hands up. That's right. You, you know what? You know the answer. And Marcel, Marcel, Mar can't even say the name. <laughs> Easy winner. I'm taking that one. All right. Yeah, that was was up. All right. And finally, for those of you who are of age, we will be doing an adults-only version of this same game show, 7:45 over in the Arch Building. Uh, tell your friends, anyone who is of age, uh, there we will be allowed to swear. I don't know if it'll help you defending your waifu, but you are allowed to say more spicy things at that panel. So let's uh, let's get our contestants 
and let's see how we go. So uh, show of hands, who has a waifu, because we're doing round one is waifu, that you want to defend? Uh, the first hand I saw was straight in the far back. Who's your waifu? I'm Oshido. You're immediately up. <laughs> I got someone holding a hand up over here. Inside uh, of. I didn't know that. Well, I didn't know that. 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 You can come on up. I'm, I'm interested. I don't think that's working. Uh, dude, right in the front here in the middle. Um, launch for Strike. Launch? Oh. I don't know how you have any words for that. I had to get up here. <laughs> deep cuts, deep Is cuts. I'm under obligation. Hey guys, we've got the red hat. Do you want to do it? You got a red hat guy? You're right there. Go ahead. I, I need, I need, uh. No, yeah? What, no, no, who's no, your wife? No. Hold on. Who's your wife? Who? I just keep up this. Never mind, Bruno. Okay, hold we'll that. Alright, we got another like, excited hand. Yes. I want to Nico Rabbit coin here. Oh, get up here, yes. do it. Yes. You. No, wait, I'm going to get back to you, Sam. What's that? Oh. Call me from Call Me Can't Communicate. Oh, it's going to be hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get off your coat. You speak more than she will. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to You got this, man. If, if everyone could do me a big favor really quick and just move in your spots, we're trying to occupy all the empty seats. Yeah, Everybody slide to the middle. In the back, please. We cannot have anyone standing in the back. And also, just like I said, close the gap right in the middle of the lane if possible. All right, still, still need contestants. We have, we have many more on this side. Three more. Uh, we're pointing somebody. Who's getting pointed at? I'll try to show them now, but let's see. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Do you have a wine food? No. Oh. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me spice up the pot a bit. Green stickers oh. for contestants. Oh. Uh, come on up. The who's a one? All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. You got your grade. You got Keep it safe. Yeah. You volunteered. You I was, I was told not to, but I'm going back on that. Great sweater, by the way. Wow. Two, three, four. Okay, then again, do you think of a new waifu? Yeah, we got this. We're going to how was the chainsaw man? Power for yeah. chainsaw man. Let's get chainsaw man wrap up here. All right, final contestant. One more. We need a waifu. Oh, I got a hand. Cora. Oh. 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 I don't think that's an anime, yes. sir. Oh. Okay. Oh I'm, my god. Yeah. I'm just yeah. the yeah. It's, it's yeah. you against the audience, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you have the biggest uphill battle today, sir. You are a challenger. It's gonna be a spicy one. <laughs> all right. We're all familiar with how our tournament bracket works. We're all comfortable speaking into a microphone. Yeah. All right. You can do it. Contestant number one. Because you've lined up now, so now you're contestant number one. <laughs> you will get your full minute. Oh my uh, this one. <laughs> this one. Look at him go. Make it bigger. There we go. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. And you, uh, for the audience, what is your waifu? Uh, launch from Dragon Ball. Launch from Dragon Ball. If it's easier, if it's something that I didn't know looking people, you could just tell me. Uh, rant at me. I want to this, is, this is also public speaking practice, so <laughs> we believe it. And go. Oh, All right, launch is really great. She has split personality. Uh, her first personality is a blue-haired girl. She uh, she cooks, she cleans, she do, does like really everything. She's great. She's really nice. Wow. Um, she's adorable. She's, oh my gosh, she's an angel. Um, she, she just, she's a little dumb, which is, which is okay, because, you know, a dumb girl is a grand girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and her personality is, is a blonde, crime-fighting girl, uh, old gods will beat you up, she'll yell at you, she won't, like, come close, she'll kick your ass. No. You don't allow that. You yeah. censored yourself. <laughs> you got it. Um, well, she's... She, which personality do you like better? I like, um, I like the blonde Japanese. The blonde. She, she's really, 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 she's really, 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 really,
So now you have to convince them that launch, or wait, you're five years old, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, I mean. So your competition is launch. Do not demean launch. Don't be mean to launch, but tell us why Zelda would be better, okay? Okay. And go. All right. First of all, I know her title is Princess Zelda, but her dad is dead, so she's a twin. <laughs> 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 she's gorgeous. Have you seen her hair? It's long and blonde like mine. We could be siblings, but we're not. <laughs> and she literally has so much devotion to her kingdom and her all that she turned into an immortal dragon for like. God, I don't know, a thousand years. Can you imagine Facts. having that much devotion to something? She would have that much devotion to you. Wow. And she's got time powers. She's never going to be late anywhere. So I can freeze the time. It's incredible. It's she's gorgeous, by the way, and she lives in a castle, so I can marry her for the money. Very <laughs> 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 Go for the money. So she's got a great personality. She's not problematic. She's not 12 years old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's incredibly kind. She works directly with her people. It's technically monarchy, but really she is there down with the people, you know, unlike on the sort of governmental system. She's super nice. She's got time powers. Alright. Audience. Raise your hand for launch. Split personality. She sneezes. Dragon Ball. The creator forgot she existed. All right. Hands down. And now hands up for Zelda. Oh, launch. Nice to try, but Zelda is your winner. You got a consolation prize if you desire. Thank you very much. All right, number three. Thank you so much. Step up to the microphone. I should get background music next time. Uh, who is your uh, wife? Who? It is I, Hoshino, from Hoshino Cup. Okay, good choice. All right. Yeah, a lot of so stuff we're working there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot. You ready? Right? Yeah. Three, two, go. Okay, so first of all, she's an idol, which means she's popular. So if you manage to actually date Ai Hoshino, which, she, which if you could be the one to show her what true love is and good on you, then you can have the satisfaction of saying, hey, I'm dating one of the most popular idols in all time. So we're, so isn't that great? Also, also our for the fact that she is a loving and caring mother to her two kids. And of course, she's doing it by herself, you know, baby daddy's not around. And we all know how that is. Plus, if you have, plus, you have to admire that fact by her that she, not only is she working as an idol, a public figure that everyone wants, she is raising her two kids and doing the best uh, she can. And of course, her kids love their mom. So, yeah. So the fact that she is a single mom being able to uh, keep an idol career by wearing the, the mask that she has to pretend to love her audience while loving her kids, what is there not to love about this? Absolutely gorgeous purple hair, purple hair, purple's best color, don't forget that. Purple uh, haired uh, queen idol. That <laughs> nice job. Are you ready? Contestant number four, step up to the mic. Tell us once again who your wife who is. Watch it. Hold on. Oh, it did. Hi. Nice and shouty. Nico Robin from One Piece. Nico Robin. All right. And go. Nico Robin is a fully realized adult woman who is gorgeous and <laughs> She has gone through the character arc of hating herself for so long, and now she loves herself because of the power of her friendship and friends. She is a sophisticated woman who has an education, who has her own drive to study history. She is gorgeous and beautiful and has all the hands in the world to hold you and cuddle you if you need it. She is fantastic. She is going to be great with communication, and her sense of humor is dark yet delightful and always has a perfect timing. I love her so much. She has gone from like a sad woman with a horrible life to a glow up of self-realization and loving herself. And that is the kind of woman that I personally would love to have by my side to support me in my life as I support her in hers. That is my wife. <laughs> first date. Um, first date with her? Library, no question. We respect the public library and we love it. We love reading together with our quiet moments. <laughs> You said you were nervous. I wasn't expecting a dissertation. So, uh, all right. You have been defeated by one piece. I will lose years of my life. I Hoshino, the idol. Raise your hands. I do. All right. All right. Hands down. Miko Robin. Yeah, we saw that coming. Excellent. Just remember, if you lost to the winner, you're basically second. So, all right. Number five. Step up to the microphone. 
And remind us of your wife, whose name? Uh, call me something. Let me can't communicate. And go. Perfect. All right. So I just want to go ahead and state that when I when I first heard of Comey, I was it was the manga, and so I was jumping off at the time. I just want to state that out there. Comey was underrated. She's the silent type. She likes good choices. She's a perfect role model. She's good with animals, which is always a green flag. Um, yes. So I'm also losing my voice. Um, She's fantastic. She's super quiet. She's super pretty. Um, there's literally nothing better to do. Gosh. <clears throat> Other than, you know, be with a wonderful girl like her. Oh, okay, she's getting choked up. <laughs> she's choking you up, yeah. <laughs> so she lets me. She can't communicate, but I mean, she's really fantastic. With How will you communicate with her? I'm going to talk her ear off. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> she's a fantastic listener. <laughs> I'm going to be a perfect dy uh, dynamic between the two of us. Fantastic relationship. I meet at the library. The library's a fantastic place to have a date. Nice and quiet. She doesn't have to talk. Just make sure you she has purple hair. Already. <laughs> 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 also, where did you get one without the hood? Uh, I bought this four years ago. Oh, okay. All right, number six. Up to the mic. <laughs> all right, and remember, this is For all an all ages yes. thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm 16. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and the name of your wife? Well, my wife is Saya from Saya no Uta. Um, <laughs> Go. Why Saya is so amazing is because she has all the knowledge at her fingertips. She's so incredible. She can just like, I mean, this is really hard for me. Okay. She can. Go inside your mind and learn everything about you without you even having to speak to her. I mean, isn't that kind of great? She'll know everything about you. And she would literally Is do that good? anything yeah. for you. Everything. She would do anything for you. And, you know, she's just so lonely. She, she just wants love and affection. And I think... <laughs> um, How do you show your loves? Well, how would they show your love? I right, okay. think there for her whenever she needs it, and um, talking with her, and learning about neuroscience with her. What's the coolest thing she's ever done? Uh, probably changed someone's brain. Oh, is that mean? Really cool. She uh, with a hammer? Had someone's head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay up. Stay up. We got two. You gotta stand up for the cheers. All right. I already forgot. Saya no Uta, the brain changer. Raise your hands. And all right, hands down. Komi, who can't communicate. Why don't why happy life? Am I right? Winner. All right, have a seat. Take a stick. Well, take a stick. How are you? Number seven. Step on up. Remind us of the wife here once again. Uh, power from Chainsaw Man. Power from Chainsaw Man. It's going to be a tough matchup. Will it? All right. And power. Go! Oh! I am under the firm impression that everyone should have a person like power in their life. Not just as a wife or a wife or whatever. Just, just as a friend. She's funny. She's, she can talk about stupid stuff. I'm probably crazy and bad. Um, she doesn't care a lot about a lot of things, but she does care about her cat. And you know what? Be caring about animals, that's a good thing. And she can drive really well. She can drive really well. And cook. I had a roommate that would clog the toilet and I never want to go back to that. So, uh, how would you get around her dirtiness? Uh, first of all, skill issue. <laughs> Can you elaborate? Are, 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 are you, you just turn on the okay? Probably, but like you know, you can turn on the fan. You can turn on the fan. That eventually does everything. That eventually fixes everything. Any other questions? First day. First day. That is an excellent. It'll probably be like in the forest or something oh. where she would like oh. exotic bugs in the property. Yeah. All right. Last one. Maybe an anime. I guess. You had Zelda up here first? Yeah. I didn't play yeah. it. There are, yeah. there are Cora, animated Zelda. The Legend of Korra. The better show in the series. Oh! oh. It has a better love story. Zutara, boring. Zutang, boring. All of the love interests are boring. She pulls three baddies. Bolin, Mango, uh, Asami. All of them are dubs. 
Name a single one that outshines any of them. Number four, she's a tomboy. She's slow. Yeah. When she loses her games because she got poisoned and depressed, which is relatable, by the way, she games them back. Do you know how much, like, uh, intensity and training that takes? She is committed. Not only is she committed to training, she's committed to love. Okay? Rush. First date, she's taking me rock climbing. Because I'm not taking her. Because she's definitely taking the lead. Because she has so much confidence. All she does is win. She may have lost the avatar cycle, but that's because she didn't need them. All she does is win, right? Sure, she may have lost, like, more than she wanted this year. <laughs> How many yeah. you can have All right, uh, everybody, um, hands up for power. Okay. Good, good, good hands. All right, hands down. And now, hands up for Clara. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh no. All right. Line up at the far end. All right. Uh, we are updating. Oh yeah. Grab your uh, grab your dealie. Next round is just 30 seconds to remind us of why your waifu is like valid. Uh, Zelda, would you step up to the microphone? And you are going to be competing against Nico Robin if that gives you any inspiration. Who's hot? Okay. All right, and go. All right, so I want to remind you that if Zelda is interested in you, that means you have the spirit of Sekiro, and she loves you in every incarnation. Ooh. That is how far she runs. And she's a woman in STEM. She is about innovation. Yeah. STEM. Yeah. And she's a woman. She is. She is decisive. Do I ever have to be like, where do you want to eat? Oh, it was a little. I don't know. She goes, and she will take you there, and it's going to be great. And she's got to for it because we got a red ship. She is the ruler of a kingdom. <laughs> All right, Nico Robin, you got 30 seconds to remind us of why Nico's so good. And go! Nico Robin is the kind of woman that I can imagine myself having a lovely date in the evening with, who I can imagine myself growing old with, and you can too. She may not be a ruler of a country, but she is going to study the history of her world and make sure that the government cannot hide it. She says that the government can lie to you, and she will not let those lies be buried. She is a wonderful woman who has overcome her own adversities and will support you in yours. I love her. Uh, 10 out of 10, book woman. Thank you, Jordan Belfort, for telling us why Nico Robin's so great. All right. Yeah, the Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, hands up for Zelda. All right. Hands down. Hands up for Nico. Ooh, that is, that's very close. All right. One more. One more for Zelda. Let me see that one. Oh, I feel like that Nico really took it. Uh, down again. Nico up. Oh, that's Nico. Yeah, Nico, Nico yeah. Yeah. Even subtracting, like, I see you when you hold up two hands. <laughs> All right, 30 second reminder on Comey, who cannot communicate, but you have to for 30 seconds. Go. So let me think about this. The fact that she is <laughs> speechless, doesn't have a single word to say. Um, she is by far one of the most social people I know. And she's setting up for 100 friends, that's more than me, so that's better than me. Uh, Comey, you could, would, if we allowed people to talk bad about Comey, that'd be totally fine, because there's not a single bad thing to say about Comey. Zero red flags, oh. three flags, don't show else. Comey is a fantastic role model, pers uh, perfect person to model myself after. We can both be better people. <laughs> All right, Cora, your 30-second reminder time. Oh, oh, and Cook. Imagine having a character where the creator literally has to make them where they don't take L's. Because you can't make growth off of that. All my character does, all my waifu does, is take L's. But that's okay. You know why? Because it's a plot point and all she's going to do is grow. She has a polar bear dog. Name one thing that Comey has like that. Okay? Oh, right. oh DQ! No demeaning the waifu! Right. Yeah. Congratulations, oh. Kobe, by default. Yeah. Oh. That doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good. Yeah. It's all right. Hey, come come to the good, adults good panel and see if you can make yeah. it in again. Oh, good choice. That's good. That's good. All right. He's figuring out how to get there. Don't worry. All right. Nico Robin, 10 second reminder. Oh, 10 seconds. Yep. Yeah. If you can. Would you go up? To ten! No! 
Okay. We don't need ten. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, this is I'm gonna tell you, I mean, it's already going. No, not. And it's going now. Nico Robin is amazing and a wonderful woman. She is real. She has problems just like the rest of us. I can see her in my life just like any other person in the world. She is real. <laughs> All right, call me. Call me versus Nico. You got this. Go for it. You got this. So, on top of her being just a really social person, she's also a good human being who stands up to bullies and prevents them from doing bad stuff, which is, I think, a fantastic thing to have. All right. Last vote. Nico Robin vote. Hands up. Nico Robin vote. a lot of hands. All right, hands down, hands down. Debate. Call me vote. Not nearly enough. Nico Robin, congratulations! Your life was trash, but you win. Okay. Can we get another round of applause for yeah. You have to stick around. Yeah, just sit right behind us. Uh, of course, like to give extra thanks for all of you just coming out here and speaking for us. Give us all good content. Thank you very much. Amazing content. Content. Yeah. All right, uh, husbando time. Raise your hand if you have a husband. Your hand's already up. Who is your husbando? Oh yes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, get out there. Get out there. Uh, Castiel over here. There's a question. Mom goes for the dogs. Get up here. I got a very excited hand up here. What, what, who is your husband, though? Yes. 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 Michael from Mushroom Oasis. I like it. Does anyone know that? I actually don't know that one. I actually don't know that name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Does anyone know Mushroom Oasis is the thing that I'm just, it's a blind spot for me? Okay. Okay, we'll pass for right now. Uh, you seem excited. Orange is shirt thing? I'm colorblind, don't judge me. <laughs> That's judge Louis. Yes. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. King from Summit and Lisa. King? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Self? Uh, yes, he loves the far back. We like that. Too so far. <laughs> oh, house husband, get up here. Come on. Oh. Uh, I got a. Yeah, my name's Tommy Sue. Yeah, start with Tommy. Uh, Alex like Louise Adam Armstrong. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, other contestants. Uh, let's start with in front of the wiggly arm, with right here in the mask. Yep. Yeah. Gretchen for Mister. Oh. I, I'm interested to see what yes. you're going to say. Come on up. I appreciate you could not get your hand up any higher. Yeah, you. Yeah. Genshin Impact. That's the main character. That's the main character, correct? No. Sorry. How many hours do you have in Genshin Impact? You know what it is. Okay, get up here. Let's <laughs> shake to your floor. One. All right, wiggly arm. Uh, Tag Wheel from Genshin Impact. <laughs> I can't have two guesses. Well, they're they're going to compete. Yeah, they would compete against each other. Oh, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Been out there. Say, come on. One, two, All right. Yeah. I've been outvoted. <laughs> Only one will be the new seen. class. Yeah, only one. All right, you all saw how this worked for waifus. It's exactly the same. Contestant number one, step up to the microphone and remind us of your wife or your husband. Hello, I will be here representing Lloyd Porter, the side fam. You have one minute to tell us why Lloyd is your husband. Go! So, Lloyd Forger, very capable person, has a bunch of jobs. Also, can cook, can clean, takes care of the house. Okay. He is a responsible parent. He makes sure his kid has a great and good exposure. But when the kid doesn't do well in school, you know what he does? He takes it to the school. He is always prepared. He has everything done. If he thinks that you're going to get arrested by the cops, he stops it. Do you need anyone else in your uh, home play other than him? Because he does everything. He can do any job, be any person. And you know what? He is always home at a reasonable hour. You <laughs> know in real life that is as capable as that man is and also has a solid family life. Wow. How much can he bench? 
<laughs> I have no idea, but I so he much. did slip that off so substantially. How much is it? Okay. Because he, he carries a family. Literally. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, economically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, contestant number two, remind us of your. Husband. Should you like a from Mongo's Stray Dogs? Mongo and go! So, first of all, we're throwing out the fact that he's in the mafia. I that doesn't matter. <laughs> Second of all, he's like, he's like five foot three. Yeah. We love a good short man. Okay. Short cake. Yes, short cake. Um, Second of all, He's got anger issues. Sometimes anger issues is he's like absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. Um, Mom and anger. Third of all, he's ginger. <laughs> First thing, how do those make them good as a husband? Because, yes. First uh, thing, probably. Good. Chili Did you have to warm up to him in the show? Yes. Okay. How long did that take? The turning point was. Um, Probably, Adam. It's just happened. Oh. It's just happened. It's just happened. All right. All right. Both contestants coming up. Lloyd, forge your hands. Okay. And hands back down. And uh, mob killing murder streak. Hands up. <laughs> there are some people. There are yes. some. Yes. All right. Congratulations, <laughs> Lloyd. We have a constellation prize. Destiny number three! Next. Uh, what do you provide? <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so Remind us of your husband, though. Seven deadly sins. Chain. Dang! Alright. If I had ways, I would love to plot. And go? Okay. I can show you the world. If you thought Aladdin wrong, how about Kit being like, 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 like Princess Doll? Flying on the world? Keep going. Being oh. magical? Huh? Who would enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we got notes! Yeah! <laughs> Prepared! I'm, I'm bringing attention to the short kings, believed in my character, King of Harry's, Holly Quinn, Allah Hafandos, Harry, and Shahardi Quinn! Oh. <laughs> it's a pretty chill of attitude, giving out cheerful gratitude, overprotective in a good way, see you in a beautiful perspective, never letting you feel rejected, flying in, oh, striving to admire you, inspire you. Keep going, keep going, Cypher's not done, Cypher's not done! Yes, yes. 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 That's all I got! First day, we're quick just like King. First day, let's go. Five seconds! I, don't, I got nothing besides that. Oh my god, here we go. Just dropped it! Yeah. Why did he just lost it? Going the fastest, not nice. always the best. Remember, so pull out the minutes. You're four, technically, right? Yeah, alright. Step on up. Who is your husband, though? Uh, it's Tatsu from Way of the House Husband. Tatsu from the House Husband. Let us know how uh, they would pick with the husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wow. So first of all, Tatsu <laughs> was in the Yakuza, but he gives it all in out of love and wanting to have a happy family. And he is a house husband. He is the perfect house husband. He can clean, he can cook. And like it is sparkly. He is accepted by the local housewife organization as one of them. That he is that amazing. And um, though he may be suspicious, like even police will think maybe he's doing like handing out drugs or something. Well, no, he's just giving some spices like oregano and thyme to a, a friend of his. <laughs> he also manages to. When he runs into um, others from his old Yakuza life, and if they threaten him, he manages to charm them through his house husband ways. For instance, he gave uh, a, a former boss like gloves and said, here, your hands are probably cold, walks away, and that man is touched and changed for life. Oh, oh, he is not amazing, job. he will do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. All righty, uh, both of you please step up. Uh, hands up for the King Cypher. Okay, all right, hands down. Hands up for the house husband. Whoa! Well, I, I was in the name. If you had 10 more seconds, that would have been yours. Dude, you said it, Raph. You won in my book. Yeah. If there's a consolation prize. Yeah, come on up for your sticker. All righty, remind us of your husband, though. Stretching out. 
Is that big with it's uh, Alex Louise Armstrong from yeah. Full Metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice big loud Armstrong voice. Tell us why and. Alex Louise Armstrong has been being refined in the Armstrong family for generations. Yeah. yeah. She has a body of steel and a heart of gold. Oh. He is, just because he is a large man that can lift more than probably any other character I can think of, is still well refined to the point where he's perfected his artistic style and his personal style, keeping himself fresh and looking good. Yeah, I know. Along with this, if you don't value any sort of anything and you're just a gold digger, he's got money too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can see Alex taking you for a stroll yeah. on his family property into the gardens oh, and telling you nice. about the various flowers that he has there. Despite that he's still a man of action that's ready to step in and protect you and uplift you in any situation of hardship that you may find. Oh. He's not there to Oh, I wanted to what he's not there for, but I will not. Find next. The next <laughs> Remind us of your husband, yeah, though. Uh, Griffin from River. Okay, here we go. You only have one minute, okay? Go. Ride the lightning. Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bridget. He's constantly changing outfits. You don't get tired of looking at him. <laughs> he has romantic tension with not only the uh, lead female character of Berserk, but also the lead male character. <laughs> His favorite food. Uh, he doesn't need to eat anymore, so it's totally irrelevant. Uh, he doesn't for my dinner because it doesn't matter to him. He's just too on that grind. <laughs> Dang. Dang. All right. Dang. Hands up for Armstrong, the alchemist with the biceps. All right, hands down. Hands up for Griffith, he changes the world. <laughs> Sorry, Griffith. It was, it was a valiant effort. That was excellent. I think Griffith is perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Number one. Yeah. And yeah. remind us of your characters. Uh, Known as the Kabuki Mono, Kuri Kizushi, uh, Wonder, and Star Go! Go! You're eating your time now. Yeah. So, Too much name. Sora is a wonderful character in Genshin Impact. He started as a prototype of a god in the beginning of his story, but then he was discarded by his mother, or as she calls it, set free, abandoned by his mom, taken in by a clan of swordsmen, then abandoned by the swordsmen, took in a child, that child died, he's angry. He's really, really angry now. And so he goes on to do terrible things, but then what ends up happening is he remembers, he ends up remembering that it actually was not him and not his family from the swordsman clan who did all that. And then what he does is he erases himself from history and guilt, but then he comes back, right? And his new back for is it's a glorious amount of character development and how he cooks, he cleans, he basically has this little sister, like, you know, those aunts that are technically younger than you, uh, but she, he treats her. I feel like we're getting to the good part right at the end. Uh, all right, get to number two, because that's how I live with them. Uh, name your husbando. This is the time to define yourself. My husbando is... Child for Tiger Lady Ajax from Genshin Impact. His name's a two one. <laughs> no! Number 11, the president of Shatumi Harbingers, he's like technically the weakest, but that just means he's really humble. And he's not using his really power good. because he doesn't want to use his full power because he doesn't want to make other people feel bad. He just doesn't yeah. want to try. Yeah. Uh, hobbies. He goes ice fishing, and he can fish out whales from the ocean. That's how strong he is. 
Well, I don't know how much she can bench, but I mean, the whale's a killer deadlift, though. And um, she's also a family man. He has three younger siblings. He joined the Fatui, which is like kind of this not morally great uh, organization. But he knows that his family, like, he doesn't want his siblings to go on Fatui. So he keeps it a secret. He says he's a toy salesman, famous toy salesman. And uh, he protects his family. He does it for money so he can feed his family. Uh, he also has a lot of money so he can get a few money. <laughs> All right, step up. All right, everybody, hands up for remove themselves from time and then came back somehow. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, hands down. <laughs> hands up for can deadlift a whale. <laughs> Okay, that's all I got out of those two. Whale wins. <laughs> all right, round uh, the second. You ready? Lloyd, step up to the microphone. Remind us, 30 seconds, why is Lloyd the best husband in the for this, I'm going to take off the rose colored glasses because I bring you nothing but straight back. Oh! That man is well animated. I spend the budget watching him. He pulls an un like, ungodly amount of baddies throughout the manga, throughout the show. Eight at night fall alone, just going for it. He is a great parent. He is a great neighbor. He is there for whatever needs to be done. And you know this, what? This he does it for the sake of peace. For My favorite part is as you were talking, someone was like, oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody knows it. Yes. Remind us of your husband, though. Tatsu, one of the house husbands. House husband. Oh. House husband versus house husband. No. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, so he loves, loves animals, and we know this because he runs into a dog owner at the park. The dog has not been feeling well, and on the spot, with his, uh, or the friend from the Housewife Association, whips up a perfect meal for the dog there in the park to help cure him, cool. dog, and it works. He also always supports his wife, and um, who is a hard worker, always supports her career, and her interest gets... <laughs> All right, this is the hardest vote of your life. Yeah. Uh, Lloyd <laughs> Forger, hands up. Whoa. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a picture. All right. House husband, hands up. Oh, Lloyd Forger. I was not. That I thought it would be a little closer. Congratulations. Take your compilation prize. Thanks for playing. Armstrong, rise and speak. Alex Louise Armstrong. He has a sharp mind. And a shredded body. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't need gimmicks because he's all out in the open and all there for you. Wears his fart on his sleeve, so you know that he's always going to be. He doesn't ready. have sleeves. <laughs> he doesn't have anything half the time. Uh, he'll even go against his own country and job if it means stepping up for you. Oh. I wish we had more time. Oh, uh, all righty. Tartag Tartaglia, remind us. Tartaglia. Tartaglia. This is ice fishing bro. Ice yeah. fishing whale well fishing. Okay. Just a whale. So, uh, to extend more on his um, not showing his full power, he chooses to use the bow, which is his weakest weapon. Um, hey. He doesn't know how to use it that well. He has a really bad back problem because of the <laughs> whales, I would guess. <laughs> he can change his personality to anything you want. Thanksgiving dinner, parents, not a problem. He um, is really cool. He's ginger, which I also love. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Armstrong and Tartagli. Hands up for Armstrong! A lot of hands, a lot of hands. Wait, okay, down. And Tartagli hands, not as many. Thank you for playing. Have a good one. All right, final round. This is amazing. Uh, you guys are going to have 10 seconds. Lloyd Forger, you now know who your final competition is. Why would we want Lloyd instead of Armstrong? 
I am not going to talk ill of my opponent because that is not what we're here for. We're here to celebrate husbandos that we all care about. You have stuck with me this far as I have <laughs> 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 All right, all right, Armstrong. Armstrong, you have, they have stuck, they've stuck with uh, Lloyd. What is your counter? Beep. Respectable muscles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? What else? <laughs> Hey, heart of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, both of you, please step up. Down. Hands up for Lloyd. I'm... Okay, alright, hands down. Armstrong hands. Armstrong. Respectable muscles are carrying this competition. Alrighty. Now, because of SakuraCon policies, we only get one bronze winner ticket, so waifu winner, please rise. Whoa. We now have to make a choice. We have the waifu winner, who was Nico Robin, and the husbando winner, who was Armstrong. Yeah. Nico Robin, would you come Say up and talk to the microphone? Thing. You've got one full minute as to why your waifu is the one that people should vote for to get a prize. Beautiful, smart, intelligent, wonderful, fully grown as a human being and a person. She believes in herself because her friends believe in her first. She will be there for you through all of your struggles and anything you could possibly go through. She has been through it all and now stands a strong, beautiful woman that will support you in what you want to. I love Nico Robin and Nico Robin will love you. She has incredible author stuff. Uh, I don't know. Uh, she has read just about any book you can imagine, has learned an ancient language simply because she wanted to. When she was on her own as a child when her mother died, she stood out as best she could and survived through her life. She survived until life gave her a reason to thrive. I love Nico Robin. She stands proud. She stands tall. She is beautiful. I cannot emphasize that enough. And has more hands than God to hold you lovingly in her arms and give you gentle pats on the head, whatever you may need. She is tall, beautiful, long dark hair. All righty, the final word from Armstrong. You got this. And flex. <laughs> Alex Louise Armstrong, what can be said that hasn't already been said? He's muscular, but didn't sacrifice intelligence. He stood by his morals even in the face of civil war. He did not shake his morals and he would not shake them for you. He would go against the entire world for love. Interesting. He also only needs two hands to lift you up. <laughs> uh, he's able to perfect his art and his alchemy, and you know that he'll take the time to love and respect you and learn about you and your servers. He'll always be there to look out for you in style, in fashion, in true arms strength. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has very strong family values, so you know that if you're partnered with them, he will do anything to protect your name and as long as you stand by him and with him. This clock. He opens his heart up to all right, both of you step forward and silence. It's good. It's so good. All right, who would you rather have as your life partner? Life partner, part partner. I was trying to, I was trying to wife food. I was like part Naru, part something else. <laughs> we'll have a better one when the uh, yeah, adult panel right. comes around. We won. Spousu. Spousu. Thank you. You win. You win. Get the ticket. All right. Hands up for Nico Robin as your spouse. That's done. Okay. All right. Hands down. Armstrong. Oh, it's so close. I have a hard time telling. Yeah. I think we need a second a second round. <laughs> <laughs> ten seconds. Need ten seconds. Ten second round. I can pull that up. Yeah. All right. Um, Nico Robin, first 10 seconds, and go. She can be your angel, she can be your devil, she can be anything that you need her to be in the moment of need. She is powerful and beautiful in every way possible. She stands oh. so strong. <laughs> all right, last 10 seconds, Armstrong. This is for all the marbles. Beep. 
if this sculpted man meat isn't enough for you, <laughs> he's going to be able to share all that money with you. You're going to be set for life. I promise. Okay. All right. Once again, Nico Robin, he's your angle and your devil. Hands down. And hands up for sculpted man meat. <laughs> Sculpted man me took it to bed. Alright, come on, Bob. Do you get your bronze? Uh, bronze bronze yes. I think so. What's our conservation pack? She got that thing. She got the like, twice already. Yeah. Yeah, that's all, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Thank you. Alright, so and good. just a quick reminder uh, check your apps because our room has changed uh, a couple times. But, uh, so, may I ask, where do you, do you freaking go to these things? While we're working on that. There we go. Right now, it's in the Arch Building, so all the way down at the other building, uh, 3AB, it's over by, like, the coffee shop. You go up those. It's adults-only panels, so you have to have your little pinky bracelet if you want to get into that one. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for competing, and your wife who is trash! Damn. Got it.